The seraphim trial was a, a really unique trial in that it was a morbidity and mortality trial, which is the first ever in pulmonary arterial hypertension. The seraphim trial examined the effects of a new endothelin receptor antagonist, macitentan, on the time to worsening or, or a morbidity mortality event. Uh, and that was defined in a number of ways, a composite endpoint, if you will. And the results of the study, which were presented several months ago, clearly demonstrated that macitentan compared to placebo significantly improved uh, morbidity and mortality in pulmonary arterial hypertension. Um, as part of that study, what we also looked at was a subgroup um, an analysis related to one of the secondary endpoints, which was reduction in hospitalization due to pulmonary arterial hypertension or death due to pulmonary arterial hypertension. And the results that we presented at the American Thoracic Society demonstrated that macitentan clearly um, decreased the um, hazard ratio for death or hospitalization due to pulmonary arterial hypertension. Specifically, patients on the 10 milligram dose of macitentan had a risk reduction of 50% for death due to PAH or hospitalization due to PAH. The 3 milligram dose group had a 33% risk reduction. So these were both statistically significant results. In addition, confirmed that the safety of the drug, which has been shown again previously in the presentation from several months ago. The implications of our results showing this improvement in um, hospitalization for pulmonary arterial hypertension uh, really, I think, could be quite significant. Certainly, hospitalization for pulmonary arterial hypertension is a significant event affecting patients' quality of life, certainly potentially affecting cost of care. So uh, an, an agent showing, shown to reduce these hospitalizations could certainly have impacts long term on those parameters like quality of life and potentially even pharmacoeconomics, although the, the study wasn't designed to look at that specifically.